I just have a medium coffee with one cream. Should I get one French special on that today? No, thank you. Okay, it's only $2 Super duper. Good morning, everybody. So we slept on our other mattresses last night, and it went all right. It'll be something to get used to having a much smaller, uh, smaller mattress because we're used to the king size, right? And now we have what uh, a double, a twin, a double. Uh, we did that just to help Britt a little bit. She's been having some trouble with her back and her neck, and she needs a different type of mattress. So we're gonna give this a shot, and at the end of this month, we're gonna go out and buy a new mattress. And we've got to debate whether or not we want a queen size or a king size. Obviously, I'd like a king size, but we have a small house right now, so maybe we'll get a queen size now and then uh, get a king size when we build. Uh, that was Britt's idea, and I think it's a pretty good idea. I mean, that way we have a little bit more room for uh, uh, our new dressers and stuff that we're going to be getting. We'll see what happens, but the, the night went all right. I feel good, so got a little bit of a pinch in my back, but that happens every time I sleep on a new mattress. It'll be gone by noon. Hopefully. And if not, then it'll be gone by tomorrow. Sometimes I get a little pinch in my back, and I think it's just the muscles, and it only releases the next night when I sleep. I don't know. As we get older, our bodies start to get it more and more interesting, don't they? I'm sure this is just the beginning. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of hiccups to look forward to yet, don't I? <laughs> Anyway, we're on our way into work. We're going to go drive some trucks or something. Lights are working. Bonus. Oh, okay, I'm going to put my stuff and my lunch in here. It's just a baby. We got the baby again today. Single axle pup. Gonna have some fun with her today. Kick them tires, make sure there's air in there. They always work so much better with air, that is what I always say. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's kick these tires too, how about that? Oh, oh yeah, that hurt. That's good, that's good, that's good. Got ourselves all hooked up, we're ready to go. We have to head into Winnipeg. We've got an empty trailer behind us. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we got to pick up. Better get moving. Bacon! Anybody want some bacon? It's on the way. We're on Trans Canada East now, on our way to Winnipeg. No idea what I got to pick up yet. I got a radio in when I get there, and they'll give me some orders. But I'm going to go pick up some stuff, and then I'm going to bring it somewhere. six skids and I have no idea what's going on all of these new rules that everyone has each individual company mandates their own rules for COVID so some of them they want you to go in some of them they don't want you to go in some of them want you on the dock but only in the trailer so you got to go on the dock to get into the trailer and then you have to go directly out after 
Some of them want you on the dock, but not in the trailer. Some of them just want you to stay in your truck. Some of them just seem to not have any rules at all, and I don't know what's going on. So, I think here, like, uh, you go up to the door, there's a number on there, you call, give them your shipping number, your PO number, and everything, and then uh, they load your truck, and I guess when they're done, they're going to come out and let me know that they're done? I have no idea. I, I guess so. They said, wait in your truck, so here I am waiting in my truck I gotta get my six skids hopefully they put the right skids on that's why I like to be on the dock at least so that I can watch them load it make sure that they load it correctly make sure they don't damage the trailer you know so that if anything happens back there at least I saw what happened right now if anything happens back there I have no idea you know they punch a hole in the trailer and then they claim not to have done it I wasn't even in there to to say we yeah I saw you do it no and some companies have no rules at all. They don't seem to care. Other than wearing a mask, right? I mean, you wear a mask inside. That's that's a provincial mandate. You have to in public spaces or in spaces where there's other people. So it, it's a little confusing, but uh, we're still having fun. I mean, we're, we're making our first pickup. Six skids. How many skids can you fit in a little pup trailer like this? I'm guessing, what, 12? Somewhere? So once I'm done from here, they'll send me over somewhere else and figure it out from there. I just hope that they're... Uh, quick about it. Almost got a full trailer. Whoop. That's a little bit here yet we're gonna fill up with whatever I'm picking up here. I think it's some kind of insulation and most of this is all going back to I think this is all going back to the Steinbeck area. Short little trailer, but it's quite a bit of weight actually. Those front six up there are actually pretty heavy. So I've done one, two, three. This will be my fourth pickup and then the trailer should be full. Just waiting on the guy to come throw the product on the trailer here for me. He said he was coming. I believe it's going to be those bags there. Or bags like it. I don't know if it's on a skid or not, but whatever. I'll just, I'll just toss them in here. Tie them down and hit the road. Well, you're it up. Yeah. 180. Okay, I'm gonna get you to toss it right in here. Uh, yeah, a little further in, just in front of this. Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Just gonna sneak through here. Oh. Okay. Gotta tie those down yet. Sneak through here and uh, ah, throw a strap around the front of this yet. Apparently there's one more little piece coming. So there's supposed to be one more bag yet. I pinned my uh, pallet jack in there, but that should be okay because we won't need it for this. This is just on the floor. Oh, here it is. Just gotta strap that on there and we'll be on our way. Full trailer right to the back. Maybe they'll have some more stuff for me to pick up. 
very likely. This is Blumenard. Slowly rolling through here. My first delivery is up the road a little bit. It's actually worked out pretty well. Like the trailer got filled up right to the door. get the side of Steinbeck so it wasn't a very long trip at all but uh, I was told to check the dock here apparently there's a dock plate I did check it before I backed in almost forgot but apparently this dock plate uh, I mean it lifts the trailers up so it's at a better level so they can unload it but they didn't used to have this piece welded on here so if you come back here with a single axle trailer it actually sink in there and you'd be stuck it would suck your trailer in, so I'm glad they fixed that. All right, let's get unloaded. It's like a full trailer. A full baby trailer. She's a beaut, Clark. Ain't she? I'm all empty again. So... Uh, I guess I gotta radio in now and see if they want me to do anything else for today or good. if that's it. I'm not sweating, you're sweating. All right, so uh, we're supposed to go fuel her up and head her on back. What's the time right now? What's the time? I need to know the time before we go anywhere. It's very important. 3.40, so by the time I get back, there. Yeah, I guess that's the day. It was a busy day. I feel like we got a lot done. Let's see if I can get out of here without running anything over. That's always the goal. It's always the goal. You never want to run things over. It slows you down. You gotta stop. You gotta do paperwork. Make a police statement. Blah, 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 blah. It's just better not to run anything over. How do I get out of here now? Whew. Why is my hair all wet? What, have I been working? What? Odd. Where'd he got 
this side going. I'm going to get this side going here as well. You can still only do one side at a time. I'm pretty sure that that's the federal regulation or something because all across Canada you can only do one side at a time and if you go out east like to the Maritimes you actually have to hold it the whole time also like so it's, it's minus 30 outside and you have to fill up 300 gallons or 150 gallons 300 gallons that's a lot if you have to fill up like 150 gallons uh, you got to stand there the whole time and hold the pump in the cold and they seem to be okay with it out there, so to each their own. Out here, they still have those little things in here that, uh, you know, will keep it going. Then it'll automatically click off, but you can only do one side at a time. Whereas in the U.S., you can go do both sides at a time. I don't know what they do if, like, you're standing on this side and that side starts overflowing. How would you know and how would you stop it, right? That's why you can only do one side at a time, because you're supposed to stand here and monitor it just in case. Because I've had it happen before where uh, uh, the, the clicker doesn't work or it, it doesn't click off when it's supposed to and it just starts overflowing. That's a mess. You don't want that to happen. It was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. It was like 10 years ago before I even started over the road. Wish I could be doing that. Man, that plane's quiet though. Just coasting in, just gliding. That's awesome. One day. One day I will be pilot Josh. You'll see. We'll be trucking in the sky. Oh, I missed the rock star welcome. It was epic. But I got home, I showered. As you can tell, just got out of the shower. And we got four minutes to go time. Doesn't look like it's gonna be done in four minutes. I'm so excited, I'm starving. Had a good day though, we got a lot done I think. We got uh, two trailer fulls, so two loads done today. This is people food, man, sorry. Maybe I'll sneak you across later when Chevy isn't looking, shh. Well, thank God work shoes are still essential. I had to quickly run over here to Walmart and try to find some work shoes for myself because tomorrow at this new gig, I got to uh, I gotta have shoes to cover my ankles. And all of my steel toe, steel sole shoes don't cover my ankles. And Mark's Work Warehouse was closed already and I need them for tomorrow. So we got the Walmart special, probably last about three months, uh, workload flex welt. It's got the steel sole, the steel toe, and it covers the ankle. So thank God they still let us buy work shoes. All the other shoes were all roped off. Non-essential. Can't buy them. No shoes for you. So, I need that, uh, like I was saying, uh, they need to cover my ankles for this new job. So at least I, I got that now, right? We'll let these uh, wear themselves out, which won't take long, because you got them, because we got them at Walmart. And you gotta be honest, Walmart shoes never last. I'm gonna go get Skechers as soon as these wear out, but... They'll do the trick for now. It's just the only thing at Walmart here, they only have size 10 or size 11. And I'm size 10 and a half. So I got a size 10, so at least they're a little snug. They're not like, I'm not swimming in them, but they're a little bit snug. What can you do when the overlords tell us what we can and can't buy? All right, I gotta go back home now. I just quickly ran out to get those because I remembered I needed them for tomorrow. Well, Diesel, 
Do you approve? Do you like my new shoes? Look. Very nice, man. Very nice. What about you, Chevy? How do you like the king-size dog bed? Very nice, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, this is the only time we wear our shoes in the house as Canadians. Uh, only when they're brand new. As soon as I take these outside once, they do not get worn inside the house again. I don't understand how Americans can walk into their house with their outdoor shoes. That is very foreign to us. Blows my mind. I don't know what it is. I guess just culture thing. Like when you come to an indoor space, you take your shoes off. Right? Wouldn't you not want to get all that dirt and grime in your carpet and on your floors and stuff? All I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so they're size 10. I'm a size 10 and a half. They're a little bit snug, but uh, they'll do. They'll do good. Uh, my feet will probably be a little sore after work tomorrow because I've got to get used to them. But it is what it is. At least I have the right shoes. They told me I had to have steel toes that covered the ankles. So there you go. 100 big ones at Walmart. I couldn't even support a local company because they're all closed. Well, they have curbside pickup. Do you want these canned canes? Yes. I shouldn't throw them out? No. Diesel was trying to take them. You're not a reindeer. Diesel? You're trying to eat my candy canes? <laughs> I'm so guilty. That is not okay. I'll go hide them. These are my candy canes. What are we talking about? I forget. Oh, but anyway, yeah, I've got to wrap this video up today. Uh, tomorrow, oh, we'll see uh, what happens. We'll see what happens, exactly. I have a feeling it's it's going to be something to get used to because my toe has touched the front a little bit when I walk, and I'm not used to that. But I think my other shoes were too big. I don't know. Uh, they'll stretch out, and I'll get used to it. Britt is... Uh, de-Christmasing before Ukrainian Christmas. It's tomorrow, isn't it? The day after? All of the Ukrainians are very offended sorry, right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but this tiny house is really cluttered with all the Christmas stuff. Taking down all the Christmas stuff. But we do decorate early, though. I mean, our lights go up before Remembrance Day, but they turn on after Remembrance Day. And then all of the decorations go up on November 16th, usually. Or no, it's November 12th, right? Because November 11th is Remembrance Day. Yeah, so November 12th is when they go up. So they've been up a while already. It's time to... It's time to start getting ready for next year. It's only, what, 350 or so days away? 350 some days away? Something Gotta like start our planning. It's all in here. It's all in here. Troy and Angie, you better be prepared. We're having a Christmas decoration competition and all of you are going to be the judges.